Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another episode of Sri's global COVID-19 show. My name is Sri Srinivasan, and it's my honor to convene this conversation around all things COVID-19. Today, we have a very special episode for show number 252. We are talking about Priya's mask. India's first female superhero, Priya, joins hands with Jia, the Burka Avenger, a Pakistani superhero, to fight the pandemic and the infodemic. Please make sure you go to priyashakti.com and check out at Power of Priya. We have several of the creators with us today. Ram Devanini is with us, the creator. Shubra Prakash, the writer of the show. Tanvi Gandhi is a producer, as is Indrani Ray and Monica Samtani. You'll meet all of them in just a minute. Hi, folks. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Sri, and I am the Marshall Loeb Visiting Professor of Digital Innovation at Stony Brook School of Journalism and the co-founder of DigiMentors, a social, digital, and virtual events consulting company. Our motto, don't cancel your event without talking to us. We can help you with your virtual events. This summer, we've done events for 50 people and 100,000 people. We bet your events are somewhere in between those two numbers. We'd love to chat and geek out with you about it. My email address is right on the screen. If you haven't been with us before, this is our 252nd episode. As you can see in our first 250 episodes, we've had more than a million viewers, more than 156 million social impressions, more than 440 guests, 249 of them women. We're upping that ratio tonight. We've had guests from 72 cities and 20 countries, including the chief scientist of the World Health Organization. We're in partnership with our awesome friends at scroll.in and Scroll Global. We, you can find our archives at youtube.com slash Srinet. We're able to do this because of our wonderful sponsors and because of our wonderful producers. Rose Horowitz is at Rose Horowitz 31 and Vandana Menon is Vandana underscore Menon. They'll be live tweeting, they'll be sharing. Please go in and share. We'd love for you to do that right now. Please share with your friends and family, tag a friend, someone who would enjoy the show they can watch now or they can watch later. We're live on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, and on LinkedIn. So on any of those channels, find me and you can share this and tell your friends to watch. And so are you ready to have some fun and to learn and to help fight all the problems that we have with the pandemic, with the health issues, as well as the information, disinformation, misinformation issues. I know I am, and I'm super excited to welcome onto the screen the, the team behind, or at least part of the team behind the uh, behind Priya's mask. And so we are gonna meet Ram, Shubra, Tanvi, Indrani, and Monica, and they will all be with us again. Priya's mask just launched yesterday, and so we are delighted that we are able to bring you this very important uh, female superhero at this time. She's the superhero that we need. So please tag your friends and let's get going. And tell us where you're watching from, please. We'd love to have you ask questions of our, our team here. And with that, let me welcome everybody onto our show. Hi, folks. Hi. Hello. Uh, Hi. 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 Just, yes. Great to have Hi. you all here, including I can see we have at least one lion here with us, uh, <laughs> uh, one tiger here with us. Uh, so thank you all for being here. My first question always is, how are you? Where are you? And how is your family handling the pandemic? So uh, we will start with Ram, I believe. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I am in uh, New York City, Midtown. And I've been, um, well, I mean, in general, I've been here most of the time, uh, occasionally seeing my parents, but not recently. I skipped um, Thanksgiving and stayed here and uh, been working nonstop with this entire remarkable team getting this project out. Well, congratulations, and we'll be talking much more about that. Let's go to Shubra. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, good morning from New Delhi. I'm in New Delhi, and I have been here and I my family is in California 
So I've also been working nonstop, um, not really going anywhere and uh, doing the best I can at this uh, time of the pandemic. Thank you. Let's go to Indrani. Hi, I'm in, <clears throat> I'm in Bombay and uh, I live on my own. My parents are in Calcutta. So it has been hard a little, not seeing them better part of the year. But uh, work has been good. Uh, Priya's mask has been exciting for us. So yeah, we are doing the best we can. And you know, remembering that our problems are first world and just going at it. No, and uh, that's that's so important for everybody to 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 note that. And uh, let's go to Tanvi. Um, hi, everybody, and good morning and good evening there. Um, I've been in Bombay since, yes, the larger part of the year. Uh, I live by myself as well. The family lives in New Delhi. So, yeah, pretty much missed Diwali, missed um, celebrating most of the things with them. We're just so grateful that we're safe, sound, um, and we're doing, you know, this fantastic, um, beautiful project together. It just kept us all so uh, positive and uh, enjoyed ourselves through this, but yeah. That's that, that's awesome. Uh, maybe we should start, Ram, with watching uh, the trailer. Would that be a good idea? Let's let's start I mean, there. Yeah. Oh, don't I forget mean, Monica. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say hi to Monica. Uh, uh, hi, Monica. Thank you so much for bringing us all together and tell us your story, how you're doing. Sure. I'm in uh, the Washington, D.C. area, and um, I do have a spouse who is in the healthcare industry and a frontline worker. So we've been dealing with that since the beginning of COVID and three kids who moved to three different cities uh, to start new lives during COVID and I had to get them there safely. And that's pretty much what I've been dealing with personally. But I really feel that this project has been one of the saving graces really in the last few months working on something like this is so powerful and during a critical time in all of our lives around the world. Terrific. Well, thank you. And Monica is the one who brought us all together. So we're very grateful to you, Monica, for that. Uh, let's start by looking at uh, a short, the, the trailer, and then we'll, we'll talk about this. So let's uh, uh, take a look and I'll hit play here. Don't be afraid. I'm Priya, your friend. This is Sahas. Why are you sad, Meena? I miss my friends. I have no one to tell my feelings to. Come on, let's go on a journey. Have you ever been on a flying tiger? Um, I... Oops, did we lose him? Yeah. Hi, this is Vandana. I'm one of Shri's producers. He seems to be having technical difficulties. Um, so I thought I'd just get you started. How, um, where did this idea come from? And did COVID, like, did you have this idea before COVID or did COVID present itself as the perfect opportunity? Oh, well, this is, uh, this is Ram. I mean, this project um, for all of us really started probably in the summer. I mean, um, we were, in, all of us, I mean, I'm the I'm the creator of the comic series, but in reality, there was um, there was nothing really in the pipeline, and I think all of us were kind of quarantining at home during the during the peak of the pandemic. Um, and the U.S. Embassy in Delhi um, approached me, and just separately, Tanvi um, approached me about doing something with this project, and um, and you know, thinking we would do another comic book or maybe an animated series. And I told her, listen, the embassy in Delhi wants to do something on the COVID pandemic and especially the misinformation or the disinformation that was being propagated on like WhatsApp and social media, uh, blaming um, different nationalities, blaming different religions, blaming uh, poor people for the pandemic, all this bad information that was being uh, propagated. So um, we, we said, okay, I said, let's do a comic book and um, the MSC said, "Let's. Why don't you take it up a notch and do an animated short as well to really get at the core of this?" And uh, it was from there that Tanvi then brought in Indrani and um, Monica, and I've been working with Shubra since the beginning of the series back in 2014. And she um, 
came in on board as the writer, and that's how the whole team assembled virtually, because physically we have not at, at all met during this whole production. And of course, the, the fact is that you have uh, such a wide range of people participating in this. So talk about that and how, how did you get all of these folks involved? Um, it was it was pure like enthusiasm and um, and love for this project and especially and then I'll let them speak for themselves because I think they really were captivated by a Indian female superhero, um, which you know you don't really see so much um, on on public on pop culture out in the out in the zeitgeist in India or anywhere else. I mean there are some of course here in the U.S. Um, with um, with um, was it Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel? I'm sorry, um, Pakistani young teenage superhero and few others, but not really in the U.S. So this, I think, it was just their love of it, and I'll let them sort of add on to that and why they got excited about it. All right, let's go to Shubra and get her thoughts. Um, I think that the thing that stood out to me at the beginning of the pandemic was the fact that uh, there was a lot of talk in every aspect, in the economic aspect. Um, we were talking about politics, we're talking about religion, we're talking about everything. Uh, and I felt that we needed to address also this part of the population, which is expected to sort of follow rules. You know, suddenly they don't get to meet their friends. They don't have, you know, all of their attention is just in one place. And as a child, you don't really, you know, talk about the things you talk about with your friends. You don't talk about those things with your parents, you know? you're just discovering what it means to have a friend. And my character, um, Mina, that we created, she is someone who uh, shows a kid who, who's actually just discovering, you know, what friendship is, what meeting uh, friends is. So if something like this happens to her, what happens is what the story is about. She, she, is, she has to make sense of the world at this point as a child. And that's what I felt would be a valuable, worthy story to tell. Terrific, thank you. Let's go to Indrani. Your thoughts on how you, you know, were able to participate and why you did? You know, I think it has been actually at every step once, uh, once the story was shared with us. Uh, I think it has been collective collaboration of, you know, of, of thoughts, of, of inputs, of feedback. It has been so seamless. It is actually, yeah, it, so we kind of came in together and kept on moving with it. I think the one thing that we felt very passionately about, um, Tanvi and I, on the first conversation about the characters and voices that uh, Sahas um, was male till then. And we felt that if, you know, there's a very strong gender DNA in Priya's narrative and Sahas, who's uh, like such a strong element of the story that, uh, that she needs to be very female, you know, so we said, you know, Sahas has to be a woman. And then, and Ram is, has, Ram is like really a wonderful artistic collaborator. He's like, all right. And Sahas became a woman and you know and then uh, we took it from there on and deciding of how to go about the voices it has just been you know it has just been such a journey together i think every step of the way we have been together working on this so um which has been uh, really really fantastic um and and watching the whole creative process evolve you know the comic book and you know, this wonderful artist sid and neda uh, absolutely in awe of them so yeah, they have been very behind the scenes, but we have been actively um, uh, taking every step together. I think that is the beauty of this project. Awesome, let's go to Tanvi. Um, you know, like as uh, Ram was saying, um, I think just the fact that, um, I, I, so I, I, I met him um, a few years ago and um, this kind of resonated with me, the comic and um, Earlier this year, reached out to him. We didn't know there was going to be a pandemic coming in. Uh, reached out to him so that one could do something beyond the comic. Saw so much potential in it. And uh, the pandemic for us and this entire period of being home and focused uh, turned out to be such a, a blessing in disguise um, because one was able to put together the right team, uh, reached out and spoke to... Uh, 
you know, Indrani, Monica, and got everybody together. And all of us as a team felt so strong, um, strongly about what Priya stands for. And, uh, and how beautifully it all came together in terms of the collaboration. Um, when when we we felt that um, the story ahead has to be about the pandemic and mask and uh, I felt that the 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 target of our communication is through a child and I thought that was so so smart and intelligent um, because they are the ones that have not been spoken to uh, they've spent an entire year in the mask living virtually um, and and to be able to spread this information through their eyes was just so fantastic. And uh, it's been so collaborative that uh, coming from a background of making feature films and big projects, the growth of something like this from an idea to a comic book to animation to this beautiful virtual uh, vertical uh, has been uh, eye-opening. And uh, the sheer collaboration of it all uh, and the passion of it all, really, it's been so fantastic. That is great to hear. Let's go, Monica. You know, for me, um, I have to say, when Thunbi called me about this project and she said, hey, look, you know, there's this comic book. It's a female superhero. She's the first of her kind in India. I was basically like, Thunbi, you had me at hello. Because I think that the first thing that occurred to me was, wait, a brown girl who is a superhero. So for me, it was about like living in the USA, growing up here at a time when I was a child where being a brown girl was more um, difficult for to integrate into society than it is today. I've always searched for that. And here it was right there in front of me. And it was just the perfect scenario. Plus the fact that she was going to go and fight COVID-19. She had a flying tiger who's now a tigress. Um, this is gonna be a collaborative effort and by the way, a labor of love between creatives from all over the world, from California to New York, to here in Washington, to Mumbai and Delhi. I mean, it was just this dream come true for me. And, and the more we dug, uh, sunk our teeth into this project, the more I fell in love with it and especially the people involved. I mean, we have been on Zoom calls for four and five months together, um, day and night, on, on Zoom calls, but also working on it um, independently and collaboratively as, as if it's like the only thing that mattered and it has come to this. And I think that the pride and joy and um, gratitude I feel for being on a project like this is immense. And I can't even put, um, you know, it's hard to even describe in words how I feel about it. But I think that for me, the real beauty of this is there's so many amazing messages interwoven into the story. Um, and I'm just so excited for the world to see it. I really am. That's very cool. Uh, and it's so great to have all of you together here with us today. Let's just look at some of the comments coming in. And a reminder, everyone, we are live with the uh, team or part of the team that put together Priya's Mask. And uh, we're, it's a comic book, it's an animated film, and uh, it's about fighting the pandemic and the infodemic, which of course is affecting the entire world at this time. Let's look at some of the comments that have been coming in. Uh, let's see, Jonathan Borstein is watching from the East Village, and Jonathan has watched 250 three episodes wow. in a row, so we're super grateful to Jonathan for, uh, for being with us. Uh, Steve Taylor is watching from Philadelphia, and uh, Charles Kenan Carroll is watching with Mary in New Jersey, and Charlie is the author of The Inventor in You, a book about making your first invention, and he was a guest on our show. Roy Wadia is watching and says, uh, hey to Ram, great to see your fab work again. He's watching from Bangkok, and uh, Sherry uh, uh, is saying, we're all in this together, love from Virginia. Uh, so great to see this global audience here. Uh, Ashok Sharma is watching from Trivandrum in Kerala. And Jyoti says, uh, hey, Indrani and the whole creative team, lovely to tune in and get to know more about this project. So this is exciting. Everyone, please tell us where you're watching from. Please ask questions. And as you can see, we'd love to uh, hear from each of you about 
uh, about uh, what you what you're hearing here. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about the website, Ram. There's so much on the website, so tell us mm -hmm. what uh, what what are the different elements there, and just lay out the project for us as well. I'll pull it on the website for you. Well, um, just uh, sort of like a background of the character. So Priya um, was started back in 2014 in response to this uh, horrible gang rape that happened on a bus in New Delhi in 2012, um, which I was involved in these protests. And Priya uh, was a response to um, a lot of the indifference sh shown in society towards rape survivors. And as Priya evolved in other chapters of the comic, um, she and Sahas would uh, deal with acid attacks to sex trafficking. And then this latest chapter, Priya, um, basically we redesigned her with everyone's uh, help to make her much more softer. And the, because the subject matter itself, uh, the COVID pandemic, was something more universal that was affecting uh, everyone from um, all over the world, from every age group and you name it. So we made Priya much more softer and sauce much more softer in the story, more universal so that a, a child could read it and especially parents could read it to their children. And that's where we're at and we just launched it. There's also a beautiful animated film, um, which you saw the trailer and everything is free off the Priya Shakti website. There's tons of stuff up there. All the chapters are free, everything is free. Uh, the film is up there. There's workshops we've been doing for um, the last two months in about eight cities around the world, funded by the State Department, um, which are also free. You can learn how to make comic books as well. So that's sort of uh, the juxt of the whole project and where it started and where it's going. That's really beautifully. And, uh, beautiful just one last thing, you know, you're wondering probably why I'm wearing this mask. Well, it's not a mask, it's AR. And that's a very critical part of the comic book is um, the comic book uh, is, in, is all augmented reality. And uh, we've been doing that since 2014 with the first chapter. That's that's amazing. And uh, I, I I was curious, how did you, you, you talked a little bit about kind of softening the uh, the character a little bit um, for that change. Oh, there you are. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> this, this is actually my vertical face. <laughs> how do we know which face is real? You can't tell. Yeah, we, we cannot tell. That was very seamlessly done, by the way. Well, well done. Uh, Where did Rom go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, one, one, of my, one, of my questions is, one of my questions is in terms of uh, using uh, the, the, the superhero to tell this, this particular story. Uh, what were the ways in which you, uh, you you explored that, and why did you need to make that change? You said you you made it a little, you made her a little softer, perhaps. Right. Is that what you said? Yeah, actually, I think Shubra, because she wrote it, she can probably answer that really well. I heard her answer before on this. So. Yeah. Um, thank you, Ram. Uh, so excited to be here. I wanted to say that Priya itself, we created this character, Ram has had these three chapters out and she has um, she has been a superhero. So when we come into a comic book like Priya's Mask, um, there's already uh, things that Priya has addressed, things that Priya has stood for. And uh, we wanted to kind of address the situation at this point. You know, uh, the most urgent need that we had is for someone to tell us uh, that things will be okay and that we should understand the sacrifices that our essential workers are making so that we can live a safe uh, life. We have the privilege of staying in our homes, but there are so many out there who are going out there who are doing their job and that is moving the world, you know, whether it is the cleaners, whether, whether it is the nurses, um, the bus drivers, the grocery workers, they all have to do their job so that we can keep moving. Um, so we wanted someone to remind that um, to us in a, in a, in a, in an empathetic way. Um, and I think that's what we have tried to achieve as a team. And we've had so much um, fun trying to, you know, just collaborate. That that is something that I uh, I've, I've been really lucky to be a part of. So, I think that this is why we needed that change in Priya. We wanted to show uh, show this thing that we are. Uh, we have to keep in mind 
all of the people that are doing their work. We cannot forget about them. Um, so that's that's how the change came about. That's well, that's that is uh, really special to hear hear about that uh, hear about that journey. I want to ask. Uh, uh, you know, we met the creator and the writer. Let's ask uh, each of the producers what their role was in putting this together. So let's go to Indrani with that question. Hi, thank you. Um, so, you know, Tanvi roped me into this project and we uh, had connected with Ram, as she mentioned. And uh, when, uh, b like before even we knew that Priya's mask is, is, is a reality, uh, Tanvi said, you know, there's this, uh, comic book series, would you take a look at it and tell me you know, what you think? And I went to the website with no expectations and I stayed on, I read through, I was fascinated and it really synced with my lens of you know, the, the, the brown narrative. So uh, yeah, and then, then we started uh, kind of you know, really brainstorming on Priya's mask and uh, like I mentioned about you know the gender of the tiger and from there uh, the 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 voices you know where we should take it who fits the uh, you know who fits the personality because it's very important to stay with that the DNA of the character and the DNA of the voice we are going to reach out to and uh, and we've been very lucky you know the, the voices who have come on board they literally were our first and only choices, you know. So we reached out and they were very gracious and everyone was on board. There was so much of love and warmth in kind of taking this story forward. So, um, yeah, I, I think pinpointing that, you know, we did this individually, I think it would be not very correct because we have done this collectively. Um, so, you know, we all brought in our uh thoughts and our our inputs and we kind of all massaged it together uh you know on every zoom call and when we ran with it and we were we were very very fortunate and i know how hard it is to do things via zoom and the fact that you were all internationally working together is is really amazing uh let's let's hear from tanvi about uh your role tanvi um thank you so um you know, I think what was um, so fantastic really was um, somewhere a vision to see this comic go beyond uh, just a comic and um, to be able to see it uh, at a level where we are slowly pushing it. Um, so when, when I reached out to Ram and I felt that somewhere um, we need to get people together for it to become a collective so that the voice amplifies. Um, brought in Indrani, spoke to Monica, and I knew that as a team, this this will this will help lift it huge. Um, and it has been so fantastic from a thought to um, discussing what the script, our little inputs on the script, to what the design would be, the color, the tone, um, meeting our uh, you know Sid and Neda who's. Um, illustrated and animators and then you know just and then the next big thing about who do we get to voice it who do we get to to support us to give us their love their time and uh like we were saying we were we we, we literally just had these names um give them a call share with them our vision and our thought and uh, to our beautiful surprise um, the actors were just so excited to be a part of it, just said, we're on. Um, and that was such a huge validation uh, for us as a team uh, to get the support. Um, and it's, it's, it's been so fantastic because then the, 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 it's like a convenience, right? It's like uh, from a thought, it gets into animation, it's then written, and then um, we start putting it together and then the actors come, we voice it, uh, and then we... we design the amplification plan of PR, social media, all of it. And so uh, what a fantastic way to uh, give tribute to this period of our lives, to our health workers, um, and this through a brown superhero on a flying tigress. Um, it, has, it has made us um, full of gratitude and humility because um, it's 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 so much larger than our own individual journeys, um, you know, um, and I think that's 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 been um, also such a great way to have 
uh, understood collaboration, virtual meetings that work does not stop even if they're sitting in different parts of the world. All of us were in different cities. Um, Monica, Indrani and I were in Bombay, but our actors were in different cities and we all, there was, it was so seamless. There was absolutely no it's um, it's question or, or a reason to feel that why, you know, we're alone, we're, we're, we are, um, this should not stop. So it was fantastic. Great. We have so, we have so many great comments coming in. Uh, Deepak says, uh, lovely uh, from New Jersey. Uh, we have a viewer in Bahrain who's watching right now. Aparna is watching in Los Angeles. Cynthia is watching in Michigan. And uh, Jonathan's asking about the comic book of it being available at Forbidden Planet. And uh, it's available online and it's uh, free. Is there a physical version of the earlier comic books as well? Yeah, there, of, the, of the first three there are, and we are looking into doing this fourth one. Uh, we actually have a Kickstarter campaign to um, to do a printing and then also to do this augmented reality jigsaw puzzle, which is just uh, really beautiful, Where, um, um, which is all on the website. But uh, you can digitally get the comic book for free right off the website. Download it in any different format you want. It's there. That's, that's uh, terrific. And here's the Kickstarter. So if you are a person who uses Kickstarter, please go in and, uh, and support. They're halfway through uh, their goal of raising $10,000. And they are 26 days to go. So uh, we wish you the very best. You can find it at priyashakti.com or just go to Kickstarter and search Priya's, Priya apostrophe S. You'll find this there, Priya's mask. You'll find this there. So please do uh, check that out. And uh, let's see some of the other comments coming in from uh, all over. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Aparna says, I shared this with our one of our South Asians in entertainment groups here in LA, uh, where I don't doubt there are some of your collaborators. Sajid Khan's watching from Richfield. Uh, Jyoti's watching from Edison. And Aparna says, what a starting point for Priya, the, the fact that you were able to take the the tragedy and the pain of that story of the of the terrible um, uh, attack and build that into something that can teach, I think is is so important. Uh, um, Rafia says, I am uh, watching from Queens and I'm an admirer of Shubra, my committed volunteer at Samar. And, uh, and uh, Ashok is asking for the website. It's very easy. It's right on the screen, priyashakti.com, priyashakti.com or Google Priya's mask, I'm sure it'll come up. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Scott said, uh, Scott is watching from San Diego. First time here and just heard of this project from my meditation teacher on Tuesday. Wow. <laughs> that's, wow. that's pretty Amazing. good. I want to ask Monica a little bit about uh, the work that she did and also about uh, uh, this great PR campaign that you put together because you've had everyone from the BBC and uh, lots of other publications have, have uh, covered you. So if you could talk a little bit about that. John. Well, I have to give credit in terms of the PR to the entire team. I mean, uh, talk about working 24 seven on getting the word out mm -hmm. in India, in the US and all over the world. That is, this is not something that any one person can do. This is where the collaboration, besides putting the whole comic book together and then the film together, the PR also took on a life of its own with every single person that you see on the screen um, working at that every single day, uh, especially in the last few weeks because it launched, um, the pre-launch happened in India before it happened here. Um, and that was so exciting for us to see. And I have to give full on credit to our India team and all the amazing people you see here for that part. And now our work begins here because the launch was yesterday. So we're really, really excited and overwhelmed with the response that we've gotten, not only from the media all over the world, but our friends, our family, our supporters, our network. It has been just unbelievable. I don't even think that when we started this, that we would ever have imagined what's happened with this and um, and how far it still it will go because of the impact. And I think again, when Dundee called me and she told me the backstory of Priya and Ram and how it all started, I was, I had chills. And I said, oh my God, how, you know, how did Ram think of this? And how, where he took it in terms of, um, you know, a rape survivor in a comic book and using comic book for social change. 
And that whole sort of train of thought in my head was just making me so excited. I said, well, wow, that's never happened before. And then you know, she took on acid attacks and then she took on sex trafficking. And now sort of a rebranded Bria, as everybody has been talking about, that softer, younger uh, girl who's also still so fierce and so strong and courageous and resilient and all about change for women and girls. And um, when I now look at our community of girls in, I'm in the Washington area and in the USA where I've reached out to, and I see the moms and the daughters that are writing to me and texting me about this, they're saying, oh my God, I have someone that looks like me and someone my daughter can look up to because in real life now we have Kamala Harris and now we also have a comic book hero. The timing is impeccable. It couldn't be better for that. And the second is we weren't even sure in August and September, we we're like, what if, you know, in December, what if things start to get better, which obviously we hope they do, but the truth is they have not. So the relevance of this is still unbelievably timely. We still have to be creating awareness about COVID, especially for children who are living, a lot of children are living in fear. They don't really understand it all. They're lonely. Um, there's the mental health issues. There's the healthcare warriors and heroes that we're talking about, and they don't necessarily have an understanding of that. And the brilliance of this, especially where Shubra has weaved in all of that um, into the story. And then all of us as collaborators making sure that the story is you know beautifully set the colors that Sid and Netta have put into this the animation it's just the entire project has just come together um as this as this beautiful piece and i think that we're also proud of um being a part of it terrific sean is giving you three uh, applause emoji. Is, uh, thank you. Thank you, Guy, so thank, says, you. thank you. This is so amazing. And congratulations, team. This is going to be one fantastic journey. It sounds like it already has been. Uh, Fernando is watching from LA in Silicon Beach. I and he's that. a former guest on our show. And we love it when our uh, guests have time to watch our uh, yeah. show. So that's, that's terrific. And then uh, my second most loyal viewer after <laughs> Uh, after Jonathan is my mother, watching in oh, Kerala, oh. and uh, hi, mom. hi, mom, love you. Uh, sorry, we're not together. Uh, yeah. And uh, as as Ram was saying, you know, the importance of uh, making sure we're all safe at this at this time is uh, uh, staying away and staying right. apart and socially distant. And by the way, I think there is something special about masks. Uh, it's auspicious that you're launching now. You saw that uh, President-elect Biden has announced that he will uh, have a basically a hundred day mask challenge uh, when wow. he takes office, uh, encouraging the entire country to wear masks. And uh, well, one thing I'm, I'm curious, uh, as, you, as you thought about this, like I think America is the first country that where mask wearing has become so political. Mm -hmm. uh, it's different in India. So can we hear maybe from Shubra about that? Uh, just so that our American audience can understand that it isn't typical to have 50% of the country or 40% of the country, or whatever it is, thinking that masks are a terrible thing. There are, there are, there is misinformation in India, but not necessarily directly about the masks, the way they became here. Uh, there is, of course, the infodemic and other problems, but not yeah. I don't think, as political. Is that right, Shubra? Uh, I think that no one is really picking on mask wearing here, honestly, uh, just frankly speaking. Uh, but there is a difference on, in general, when people wear masks, there are uh, different ways that they wear masks. You know what I mean? Uh, and that seems very interesting to me because sometimes people just wear them without actually doing what they're supposed to do with a mask, which means, you know, like cover your nose, you know, your mouth. So there's actually, I mean, I'm, it's funny, but it's true that there are uh, gifts out there of all the different fashions of wearing masks and people, it's become a big joke now, but it's really, uh, you know, there are people who can't afford masks. All right. They, they use their, you know, they use their scarves or they, the people that are, you know, working that don't have a choice. They're working on buildings, they're laborers. They're, they're doing their bit, you know, covering their faces with whatever fabric they have, you know, but 
they're all facets. I get to see everything. You know, I get to see people who have really fancy masks with all the filters on them, you know, everything cool like that. And then I see people who are just like right there, right here, you know, the nose is out and like, you know, the mouth is out. Sometimes it's here and I'm just like, what's going on, you know? So uh, it's it's tricky, it's tricky, but I don't think that it has, it hasn't really been something that people say, they don't say, they just do as they wish. So that's, that's what I've noticed. And, One thing um, we've been saying, we've been saying throughout this, the, the series of nine months of shows, we've been saying, you have to laugh at least a little bit, otherwise you'll be crying all day. Right. Absolutely, I agree. and. If you're, uh, you know, I, I have to agree with that. It's been so long that we have, uh, we saw, a lot of us have met our friends where we would do such a thing, you know, laugh and enjoy the day and all of that. We're alone. And so I, I, I look forward to my Zoom calls with the Priya's mask team. Let me just tell you, that was what I wanted. I wanted to meet everybody and talk about what we were working on because I am pretty much by myself, you know. And I have chosen to be that way because I don't want to be infecting anybody or be. That is what I, you know. So uh, I look forward to us meeting, talking, you know, talking about how we can, in our way, in our creative way, because we're all artists, you know, make an impact. And I think that we have uh, done so. And I think Indrani can share a story where uh, we got to hear from an actual, uh, you know, doctor and their family when they read the comic book. And it was very moving what they had to say. So, yeah. Yeah, I was I, I was telling you off camera, Sri, that you know uh, my friend's friend and my friend shared the film with her. Her doctor, her husband is a doctor, uh, part of the COVID squad, has not been home, and her daughter keeps on little daughter, same age as Mina. So he keeps on. She keeps on saying, "Is my father going to die of COVID?" And then you know, she got this film and she showed it to her daughter. And when she was speaking with me, she was like, she was emotional. She was in tears. And she said, you know, thank you for being our voice. And thank you for making this film. And, you know, my daughter saw Mina and said, oh my God, that, that, that's like me, you know, and, and, and this is an American family. So you, this is so universal and that was beautiful. And, and I had like goosebumps while talking to her because she was, she was so emotional. And I said, you shouldn't thank us. I, we have to thank you and, you know, your family and your husband for doing what you're doing because we have so much more respect for frontline caregivers, uh, the, the job that they do, you know, uh, especially this year where they have put everything aside to serve uh, society and humanity, right? So th and that is when I, I kind of send a message to the team saying, this is why we did this, you know, to this is why. And it, it was just, it was very emotional, you know, it happened day before. And um, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. It was, that was very that was that was very moving yeah. and i mean we get yeah. to hear from we get to hear from monica about her her uh, husband uh, working and uh that's she tells us all the precautions he has to take you know he had to you know at the beginning of the pandemic and yeah that was real yeah it was real i mean you know especially in the very beginning when it was super scary because we had no clue what was going on it was like the world was going crazy and there I had a husband, a healthcare worker who was going right into the thick of it at the hospital every single day and coming home and talking about more and more deaths. The fact that the, uh, all the practices had to shut down because the hospital was going to be purely COVID central, you know, putting up a tent outside in the, in the parking lot for only COVID patients, coming home and not being able to get near any of us. Um, you know, sanitizing everything he touched, all his clothing, taking a shower. I mean, the whole thing was just, it was crazy. And then slowly that becomes your normal, which is even more crazy to me. Then the numbers started to go down and now they've started to go back up again. So the relevance again, I come back to that is wearing a mask. And one of the things that Priya says is wear a mask for your safety and mine. And I think that that line I stand with Priya or wear a mask. Um, I think that that sort of uh, messaging around, you know, Priya's mask story and what she's telling children, it makes them understand more what this all is. And I think um, my own personal experience really drew me to it as well, as Shobha said. I know Tanvi had something she wanted to uh, add. Um, no, I, I, you know, um, 
like they were saying, it was as real as it can get, uh, Shri, because I lost somebody to it, actually. Um, and it was uh, a matter of four weeks. Um, so while, you know, one was dealing with it in, in or, or trying to understand or deal with it by uh, reading, by processing it, by understanding statistics, by forwarding things, you know, all that misinformation we, we be talking about, uh, when it hit home, uh, I, I think it hit so hard because uh, at no point in the beginning of the year um, did one even fathom that it would you know go this this huge this massive and then it would uh, it would take somebody away within a matter of four weeks um and so no more was it just about uh, oh there's a virus do we have that can we wear the mask can we i mean all of that suddenly shrunk into the reality of um not knowing what this is straight away going into uh, the ICU and then coming back and the family never being able to say goodbye. Um, it, it was, you know, it's an inexplicable feeling because one cannot compare this to anything that's happened before where you cannot say bye, you can't, it's contagious, you've got to stay layered, you have, um, uh, every day there was a new development. Every day the you know the, the 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 numbers were rising, and eventually it was coming back to the same thing of all we can really do is wear the mask, maintain social distancing, keep your hands washed, stay hygienic, and and let every day pass, you know with with whatever um, uh, feeling of okay today was a good day. Let's do this. We we are you know we we're okay our family's okay let's 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 check on everybody i think it was what a strange way to have reached december um with big losses and all of us saying goodbye virtually um to, to people that were close to us who, who, and you know the loss of them um honestly she has it's not even processed enough because i think what we're actually feeling suddenly is so overwhelming to the loss of a dear one that it, that itself, um, I think, is a process that will take some time. You know, uh, we had to overcome that feeling because now we have to think of other people, and you feel like it's already happened in the family. Um, we've overcome it. A few months, a few weeks later, there's another spate of six people in the family that are infected, and it's it's relentless um and so for us somewhere i feel um working on this spreading this small simple profound message of for your safety and mine to be responsible please just wear a mask it's your oxygen um it's the way you will breathe it's the way we will breathe healthily if you just cover yourself and uh and a massive thank you to the healthcare workers like really really Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's so important. And I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss, uh, Tanvi. And, uh, you know, we know how hard this is. And you can imagine this happening to 1.5 million families yeah. who lost somebody in this. Uh, it's, it's hard to uh, get your uh, mind around it. We only have a few minutes left and we have so many questions and comments coming in. Let me just share some of them very quickly with you. Fernando uh, says, have you approached impact venture companies? I'm sure you will get supporters in these communities. Uh, look me up and I could introduce you. So I don't know, maybe Monica or Ram, if you wanna reach out, you have his name there. So you can find him on LinkedIn. Otherwise, let me know if you have any trouble. Mark Lee is watching from Durham, North Carolina, another former guest and a friend of the show. And Kamini says, congratulations team for the awesome job you are doing. Uh, Mark says, love it when folks use art to talk issues. A friend, a friend did one on substance abuse. And uh, An Anusuya is watching and says, watching from the Bay Area, I guess. Uh, congrats to the team, Shubhra Prakash, so mm -hmm. proud of you. This is a beautiful story. So as we wrap up here, we're gonna give each of you a chance to give us a kind of final thought. I did wanna ask Ram a question about uh, the Pakistan angle on this yeah. and the India-Pakistan angle and the Pakistani superhero that's part right. of this story. How did that all come together? And uh, would love to hear more about that. And so Ram, if you'd give us that and in your final thoughts, and then I'll go to each 
one of our speakers for her final thought as well. So Ram, start with you. Yes, uh, well, that the superhero in Pakistan is called the Burqa Avengers. Burqa Avenger, and she was um, a TV show in Pakistan, started almost about the same time we did, in fact, a little earlier. And her name is Gia. And I've known about Gia for a while, and our name is, our character's name is Priya. And I thought, you know, okay, with this pandemic, the virus doesn't really respect borders. So I thought there might be an opportunity for these two superheroes uh, coming together to fight the pandemic. And the State Department, the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi said this is a great idea. They worked with a team in, in uh, Pakistan, Burger Avenger team, and they brought us together. And there was just a mutual appreciation of the possibility of, of saying something very important between these two cultures. And uh, that's where the partnership came about. That that is that is awesome. So, a final thought from you? Well, I you know, Priya is a, um, a survivor of gender-based violence, of rape in the comic book, and I always say, um, you know, she's a survivor and not a victim. And she always emphasizes that. And 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 I, and I think this pandemic, we have to ask ourselves, and Priya asks this as well: Are you going to be a survivor of this pandemic, or are you going to be a victim? And it's really how is are, are you going to define the pandemic? or is the pandemic gonna define you? And I think that's the big question that we're gonna be facing in the next year. Well, uh, thank you. And uh, folks, you can find uh, Ram on uh, on Twitter. He is he has an unusual Twitter handle, so I wanted to tell us uh, the origin of that, R-A-T-T-A-P-A-L-L-A-X. So yeah. tell us uh, what it's just, that is. Uh, it's an onomatopoeia, it means the sound of thunder. It's created by a poet named Wallace Stevens. Um, for him, the sound of thunder sounded like Radapalix. Okay, very, very cool. So thank you very much, Ram, and uh, so grateful to uh, you for being here. Um, before I go to each of our uh, other guests to give us their final thoughts, I'd like one of them to talk about these stars that they brought on to participate uh, uh, in the in the show, Vidya Balan, Runal Thakur, Sarah Kabir, and Rosanna Arquette. So we'd love to hear that as well. Before we do that, uh, we just want to uh, tell people about upcoming episodes uh, of the work that we do uh, here uh, at uh, at our program. And we have two great episodes coming up in the in the next two uh, on Saturday, on Saturday and Sunday. On uh, on sa Sunday. We have our next episode of She's On Call, two fabulous surgeons, Dr. Sujana Chandrasekhar and Marina Kurian will be speaking uh, and uh, to, uh, to, um, to an OBGYN and, a, uh, and an oncologist. So please join us. They'll also be talking about COVID and so much more. That's at 11 a.m. on Sunday and earlier on the day on Sunday at 8.30 a.m. in the New York Times read along. We're super excited. Peter Baker, the chief White House correspondent for the New York Times will be with us, and Susan Glasser, a staff writer at The New Yorker and global affairs analyst at CNN. They both have a big new book out about James Baker, and we'll be here together for the New York Times read along, five years of reading the print New York Times out loud uh, on Sunday mornings at 8.30. So please join us if you can. Uh, for that show, it will be an epic, epic episode. So let's go back to our team here and uh, hear from them uh, about the uh, uh, about their thoughts. So let's start with Tanvi. Um, I think um, at the end of the day, we're all just so proud of having done this together for the messaging um, to be sent out, uh, the mission to be shared. Um, and, and just to be able to say a big thank you to uh, the healthcare workers. And um, I think somewhere this year has, um, you know, elevated uh, them in uh, people's eyes. And I think that was so sad that we hadn't uh, acknowledged uh, how all of them, frontline um, health and otherwise, have actually made sure our lives are running um, as smoothly as they can. And when they were out there, um, when we were all asked to be home, but they were stepping out for us, I think it was just so fantastic. So really a big thank you through the eyes and voice of Priya. Thank you very much. And and you can find Tanvi on Twitter. She's Tanvi G on Twitter. 
uh, the letter G, but we'll also call it Tanvi G with the JI as well. So that works, but Tanvi G. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's, uh, let's go next to Indrani. Um, you were you were asking about the voices, I think. Um, so for the tiger, we felt that we needed someone who had gravitas and playfulness because you know we were kind of expanding the scope of the, of the characters in the comic book. And the only person we could think of was Vidya, who has the gravitas and the spine and the presence and the fierceness. Yet she's playful, and uh, and we were lucky to have her. Similarly with Bernal, you know, her DNA and Priya's DNA is so kind of, it speaks so beautifully, you know, this Priya's brown girl uh, who's finding her way out in the world and, and, and looking to change things. I think I think the DNA match of, of character to voice was just perfect. And then Asaira, I think, actually was Tanvi's brainwave because he wanted the voice which was not explored. And Tanvi's like, you know, she would be interesting. And... Um, she reached out first, and and, and then um, you know they, she was on board, uh, and, uh, and 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 again, so beautiful, you know, so beautiful as Nina. So I think I think the voicing was just kind of a perfect match. It was it was it really elevated the telling. Um, it, it it feels completely in sync. So yeah, we have this uh, wonderful film now, right? Yeah. So we are, we are very, we are still overwhelmed, you know, we are, we are all a little overwhelmed with what we have managed to pull together. We are still processing it, you know. Well, yeah, well, congratulations. And uh, please check out uh, Indrani. You can find her on Twitter at Indrani Ray. And uh, let's go now to Shubra. Hello. Thank you, Shri. Um, I just want to say that the story that we have all created is a specific story. It's a story of a girl whose mother is a nurse. Um, while we are all very eager to start back our lives, you know, go back to whatever we um, found so compelling about it, we are uh, we we cannot forget them because they're still battling. They're still out there, and. Uh, that's why I think that I want you to, as a reader, please read the comic book, read it with your children. We should spread the message that there are people out there who are sacrificing time that they could spend with their family, with their friends, um, so that they can uh, take care of people who are battling uh, the virus. So I would like people to read and watch the film and uh, uh, you know, share it with others so that we can build that empathy and we can keep reminding people that it's not over till uh, we have this under control, till all of us, including the people who are out there, the frontline workers, are able to um, have that time back, you know, uh, that they should be spending with their families, with their friends. That's all I really have to say. And Sri, thank you. I love this talk show because I've, I've watched it from the very beginning. An amazing feat to do a show every day. Thank you. So thank, thank you. We we finally, after 250 episodes, decided that even we couldn't do it every single uh, day right, anymore. Right. So we so now we're doing it once or twice a week. Uh, you have to tell everyone about your Twitter handle because that's also an unusual. Uh, oh handle. man, it's nothing big. This Durkhaima is a is a fictional name for the Himalayas, uh, and I found that in a book, my the first book that I read, which was more than a thousand pages long, and I said something has to be you know, <laughs> attributed to this feat of me reading this book. And that was my Twitter <laughs> handler. <laughs> so, D-U-R-K-H-A-I-M-A is, the, is, yes. is her Twitter handle, yeah. and you can find her there. And uh, let's go to Monica. You know, Shri, um, I really feel that storytelling unifies us as human beings. And here we are, storytellers, creatives that, were, that came together and wrote a story about what we're living in real life right now, today, all across the world. And so for me, Bria's Mask is about humanity. In the end, what I come, come away with every time I read it is that we need to take care of each other, that we need to be there for each other, and together we will get through this. And that's what I think the main message is of Bria and Bria's Mask. And that's why I like it so much. Well, that's really great to uh, hear that. And we're, we're so thankful to you at Monica Santani for your work, for getting us all here uh, today. We're, we're very grateful to you. I wanna show you a couple of other comments that came in here, uh, including from Steve Taylor, who says, 
that he just downloaded Priya's mask PDF from PriyaShakti.com. Oh, it looks you. fantastic. So you have fans now in Philadelphia as well, if you didn't already. And uh, our, uh, our uh, producer, Rose Horowitz, is uh, tweeting at Rose Horowitz 31. So people should check out those tweets. And uh, Ariyaki says, watching from New York City, Chubra and the team, you are stars. <laughs> and uh, that is uh, great to see. And Chavi, who put us together, uh, says, congrats, team. You've been everywhere this week. Lots of media. So excited. Priya is, is here. And uh, Nidhi says, great job, Monica. And uh, so you're seeing all these comments on the different platforms. I just want to remind everyone that you can tag a friend right now on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and they will see this. Uh, uh, right after we're off the air, they'll come back on and the video will start from the beginning. Please check out priyashakti.com and uh, watch the video, get the comic book, su uh, support the Kickstarter. There's so many action things you can take, uh, you can do on the site and also go back and look at the three previous comics, uh, including the genesis of this amazing character in Priya. And with that, we want to thank our guests. Uh, we are so grateful to you for your time and your energy and your uh, your support here of our show today. Thank you very, uh, very much, everybody. And we'll see you soon. And Ram has his uh, mask on one second. <laughs> uh, we, we say, uh, because people will ask, how did you do that? And is that something yes. that others can download if they want to use that mask? Yeah, it's on uh, Snapchat, actually. You can now, uh, there's a camera. So you, you download the Snapchat camera and you switch to that camera and make sure you have that filter if you want right. to do that. Yep. That's, that's Zoom, every, everyone's using it now. So It's cool. great. And uh, Jonathan says, great program. Thank you. And Steve says, thank you so much all. And with that, yeah. we'll say good night to everybody. Uh, please check out PriyaShakti.com and the and at Power of Priya on Twitter. Big thanks to our producers, Vandana Menon and Rose Horowitz. And uh, we will uh, see you on Sunday morning for the New York Times read along. Please join us then. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you.